good scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Jody Turner Smith filed from divorce from the estranged husband, Joshua Jackson. And White Zaddy was not happy about it. He was indeed upset about being dumped. But damn, did Zaddy move fast quickly. He was like, look, ha, huh, she don't want me no more. It's all good. Let me go and upgrade to the next best thing, which is Lupita Nwango. He's like, look, man, got to be something better and thicker anyway. Now, Jody Turner Smith is out here <clears throat> in these streets with no man. And she went to a Halloween party in L.A. And she had somebody on her arm that was black. And everybody is, you know, looking like, hey, oh, you know, where's who's the brother? You know, maybe 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 once you go white, you do go back to being black. OK, so let's see. You know, like I said, it's going to be cracking, right? Well, damn, looks like Boo is out here going to the Halloween party with her brother. Damn, her brother, her loving brother, who is also at the party. I guess there is nothing wrong with that, right? No, I, I do think something is wrong with that. And I want to talk about this very clear. For a lot of these ladies out here who are getting their Tia Maori on, who are getting their uh, Lala Anthony on, who are getting their Jeannie Mai on, who are getting your Jody Turner Smith on. And it's very, it's very nice that they still look good. They're still in shape. I think that's wonderful. It is great. Let me just tell you, when you start going to these Hollywood studded parties, and these ladies have dates and you want to take somebody there um the issue is yeah a lot of guys be already taken boo and i want ladies to understand that i'm not even being mean i'm, I'm trying to tell you i'm not even being mean i see this here in africa it's even worse here like living in uganda there is like 50 million people in uganda what i have found out is it's about almost 2,000 millionaires okay Listen to what I'm about to tell you. 2,000 millionaires. If you're a lady and, you know, you leave your husband uh, for whatever reason, let's just say you don't like the guy no more. <clears throat> you don't like him. He ain't about nothing. He ain't hitting on nothing. X, Y, and Z, right? No problem. What happens? Listen to what I'm about to say. What happens when you want to move to somebody else? I, I think I'm going to tell you what happens. You don't have very much of a chance at all. All right? You just don't. You don't have that much of a chance it looks real dusty crusty and musty right that's the situation very musty so now when you're her and you want to go to these things and you're looking for somebody to come out and want to be your man and i'm not saying that she's looking for a man maybe she not you know we know tia maury looking for somebody but you know what, what are the chances the chances are it's gonna be hard as hell for somebody to be like you know what that's my boo it's probably gonna be very difficult for the guys that you can really date, like, you know, a lot of y'all like nice stuff. You used to being, you know, treated in a certain way. You know, you don't like no dudes dusty. You don't want no dudes broke like me. Okay. Then your husband who you leaving, he just real quick, within two weeks, get somebody else. Tia Maori, Corey Hardrick. Tia Maori can't get nobody. Oh, making all these paragraph, uh, you know, bullet points. And everything about how she enjoying her life and which does nobody really give a damn about what Tia Maori is talking about. But, you know, let's say, for example, you, you doing all of that. Then the guy that you're dealing with, you know, he gonna rebound quick. Just know that these guys rebound very quick, fast and in a hurry, especially if they're 40 to 60, 70. They rebound quickly. Okay. So if you just say, I don't want to divorce them, though, because I'm graduated from divorce, you know, I, I, I just feel like I got something better out there for me. Maybe it is better for you to be by your damn self because getting a mate is hard. Do you know, like a lot of guys and I'm not trying to even be mean back in the day when I was um, like 21, I wanted to be a married man. This was something I don't know what, what I was smoking at the time. Right. But. I wanted to be a married guy. I wanted to uh, help people. Again, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. 
Uh, I wanted to do that. I wanted to basically be in church again. I don't know what's wrong with me because I can't stand going to these churches now. But this is what I wanted. I mean, I wanted a wife in the black community, which I still still would love that. But, um, you know, as the more I got older, I'm like, damn, I don't feel like I want to get married to anybody and ruin my life. I don't really feel like I want to be dusty in a relationship with people and ruin everything that I got going on because I'm just so happy not dealing with these people every goddamn day. I think I would just leave it alone because I want peace in my life. Because a lot of guys look at marriage now, and I'm not saying it's always the case, but when you look at um, people, and you look at them in the context of situations, you say, you know what, damn, I don't even want to be bothered. I think that this is a bad situation for my ass. I just somehow need to get away from this. Like getting married, oh, it's divorce. Man, I don't want to be divorced. It's problem with divorce. This is crazy, right? Like, I don't need to do this. I just need to go and chill somewhere else. Let me get away from all this. And this is what guys are doing. The, the guys that have more money, they're like, man, I, I can't deal with this. I can't see myself dealing with her. Or I can't see myself dealing with her long term. I don't want to lose my money. And what, what do you tell somebody that? Like, how do you how do you make light of that? Like, the guy doesn't even want to lose their money now. I don't even want to get married because of X, Y, and Z. I can't get married. I can't do it. And it is, it is, it is, it is, it is so bad, you know. Um, it, 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 it is, it is so negative. And the thing is, a lot of ladies don't even understand it. And then you end up going to these damn Halloween parties with nobody, and then everybody look at you like, damn, look at her. Like, huh. She had a husband last year. Look, she ain't got nobody this year. She came here with her goddamn brother. And it, and, it, and it is, if you think about it, it is sort of embarrassing, right? Like, you showed up last year with your husband. Now you're coming with your brother. People be talking. And you know women, they talk about you buying You know women be talking too, boy. Girl, you see that? <laughs> girl, you see how crazy she look over there, girl? Girl, go over there and say hi. No, girl. How you doing, baby? Y'all know how fake y'all be sometime and everything like that. It, it's just true. It's true. So I hope that she made the right decision about all that right there. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do, Scare the Bell. We're out. Mm-hmm.